All right, so this is going to be uh, making an AOI circuit, and we're making Y equals not A and B or A. So the first chip's a NOT gate, then that's an AND, 7408, and then the next is a 7432. So we put them in that order so that we know they're always in that order, and now the first thing we're doing is running from the bus um, to ground, and then we'll use the power on the other side to be to run to that bus. Now we're going to run power to each of the chips. You can see here we make just a little mistake um, picking up. We're in the line below we where we ran power to, and um, so. In a minute, you'll see that um, we notice that and then fix it. So we're putting power to each one of the chips. Then next, what we'll need to do is put ground to each one of the chips. And you can see there um, that my lab assistant is fixing the wiring, so now they're all coming off the power bus. And now we're going to run ground to each one of the chips. And he's doing this based on his pinout diagram. And those little wires we're using are jumper wires. They um, are just convenient. They are kind of long, but they're awfully convenient. And now last um, run ground to the 7432. All right, so now the first thing that we make is the not A portion of the circuit. So we go into the first input on the 7404, the not gate, then the next pin is the output, and that goes into the input of the AND gate. So now we're going to go from the other input to the AND gate to a switch to make the B portion of not A and B. So we use a switch and that connection is tied to the switch below. Now from there we want to take the output of the not A and B into the OR gate. So we take the output and run it to the first input of the OR gate. From there, we need to combine that with A because our expression was not A and B or A. So we go right there to the other piece of that. And then you can see we have just a little mistake there and we came off of the B switch. Now we're going to take the output, okay, and run it into an LED as our indicator. So next what you'll see is that we turn it on and we begin to test the truth table. So here you can see that um, we're going through the truth table and it's not responding as we would expect it to. So we double check and it's still not working as we expect. So now we need to begin to look at the truth sheet. To, uh, the troubleshooting. As we look at the troubleshooting, then we ask ourselves, where was the malfunction? So here, as we looked at it and we could see that there was a problem and where was the problem, it wasn't with the not A, B portion. That part worked fine. It was coming on somewhere different. So as we start look, working through there, you can see we double check that the problem is where we thought it was because then that tells us what gate we need to look at. So now you can see that while we're working through the troubleshooting we're just going back through the truth table again to identify the problem. So now that the now we're going to look at the wires associated with that particular connection. So we trace from the A in to the NOT gate 
Yep, that is in fact A. But when we look at that wire, we see that it's plugged in, and that's the one I pointed out earlier. This is when we actually found it. It's plugged into switch B, and it should have been plugged into switch A. So now we relocate it. That's easy enough to do. Just check our connection. Now we work through the truth table, and it responds appropriately. So I hope this helps with uh, making an AOI circuit.